impregnation of the liner. In the first step, the liner is placed straight from the box onto the impregnation tape and the required dimensions are determined using a measuring tape. The dimensions or the desired seam point is transferred to the liner with a pen. Now the liner is cut off and sealed at the end with duct tape so that the vacuum pump can then be securely connected. A marking ensures that the cut hole can be found again. The foil is cut open and the vacuum suction device is connected. In addition, you can fix the liner with tape for protection so that the vacuum cup sits securely during the impregnation process. The vacuum pump is now switched on. The liner is placed over the filling aid and the mixed resin is poured into the liner. In the next step, the front end of the liner is clamped off once to make sure that no resin residues are left behind later, because this is also the connection point to the inversion bend. The safety flaps of the impregnation system are folded down. The dimension is set depending on the liner type. Here, 12 mm for the Bravo liner 3D. The impregnation system is now switched on. The direction is set and the impregnation process starts. At this point, isolated places are being reworked. If the textile is completely soaked in green, the impregnation process is complete and the liner is transported to the rehabilitation site. Thank you.